Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 314, binary tree vertical order traversal. So given the root of a binary tree, we turn the vertical order traversal of its nodes values. So from top to bottom, column by column. If two nodes are in the same row and column, the order should be from left to right. So in example one, we have this binary tree and the output is 9, 3, 15, 20, and 7. So we're adding these to our output via vertical ordering. So 9, 3, 15, 20, and 7. In example two, we have this binary tree and we are adding it as a 4, 9. Then we have 3, 0, 1, because remember if they're at the same level, it's going from left to right, 8, and then 7. So how are we going to solve this? So there are two ways to solve this problem. There's DFS and BFS. And today we are going to be looking at the BFS solution. So breadth search is just going level by level, also called the level order traversal and carrying out some kind of logic to see if we can find our solution. So with breadth search, we have a queue and in the queue, we usually initialize it to the root. So we're going to add three as the placeholder of root here. And we also need to add an extra piece of data. And this is going to be the current level we're on, which we can initialize at zero. So we can say that that's level zero. So if this right here is one level, say these are both equal to zero as well, we're going to need some kind of mapping to store all these values at level zero. So if we have a map data structure or just an object that stores the keys being the levels and the values being the node values, then we can use that to populate an answer at the end. So let's run through this BFS solution. So if we shift off of Q, we have three and zero. Now we need to check whether the map has this level. It doesn't, so we can add it into map and pass in three as the value. Then we check its left child and right child. So three has both left and right child. So we need to push into Q, the left child, as well as its level. And its level is going to be the current level we're on, minus one. So that's going to be minus one. And then with the right child, we're going to add that into Q, so eight. And we need to add for the level, the current level we're on plus one. So that's going to be one. Now we can look at the left child. So we shift off of Q. Do we have minus one within the map? No. So we create it. Pass in nine as the value. We check nines left and right child. Both are present. So we add them into the Q. So we add four as well as the level we're on. So it's going to be minus one, minus one, which is minus two. And we also need to add zero in as well. So zero and it's going to be zero as the level. Now we move to the next value in the queue, which is eight one. We check to see whether one is in the map. It's not, so we create it and pass eight as the value. We look at its left and right child, both are present, so we can add them into the queue. So one is going to be added plus its level, which is going to be zero. We're also going to add seven in and its level, which is going to be two. So four minus two is shifted off of Q. We check if minus two is in the map. It's not, so we add it. We pass in four as the value. We check its children, it doesn't have any. So we can forget about that and move on to the next value within the queue. Shift off zero, zero. Check if zero is in the map, it is. So we can just push in zero here. So we push in this value into the values of map. It doesn't have a left or right child, so we can remove this. Then we shift one zero off. Zero is in the map, so we can add one in there doesn't have a left or right child, so we can move on to the next value in the queue. So lastly, we shift off seven and two. Two is not in the map, so we create it, pass in seven as the value, and we check its children. It doesn't have any children. So that's the end of the queue, and we exit this BFS. So that's the majority of the solution. However, we've still got this map which we need to order. So if we order by the keys and then return the values, we'll get our expected result. So time complexity is going to be O of N because we visit each node within the binary tree exactly once and space is also going to be O of N. So let's code this out. So if root is null, we can just return an empty array. We can initialize our queue as root and zero. And we also need to initialize our map as an empty object. Then we can carry out the BFS. So while queue.length we can extract node and level by q.shift. 
if map at level is not present, then we just set it equal to an array with the nodes value in. Else we just push into that position within the map. And then we check the nodes left child and right child, and we push into Q node.left. And if it's down the left hand side, we decrement from the level. And then with the right, we add in node.right and level plus one. Then we need to order the map by the keys. So that will be object.keys pass in map. And then we can just sort these. And then we just need to map over them and return the values. And then we can return this. Submit it. There you go.